Okay, so our next step would be to go into the web form again and we'll set the emails. Click on emails. So the first thing you're going to want to do here is set the submission results. And what, I'll, what I usually do is set this to, um, you can set it to your, your um, office at Saint, mystandrews.org, but I'm gonna set it to mine for testing. So I usually use something for testing first to make sure it all works. So I'll say add, and it immediately goes to the settings tab. Yeah, pretty much we're going to look at this, but I think we're going to keep the, the default settings. So it's showing corner tune, which is my test thing. It shows the, the default subject is going to be form submissions from a Larry Benefit concert. And you can change that to something else if you want, just by clicking custom and retyping it in right there. But we're going to leave it on the default. Um, let's see email address where it's from you may want to change that but for now we're not uh, email um, oh you can also change it so it looks like it's from that person which is right here uh, the email address that they would fill out but we're not going to do that it's going to look like it comes from the website if we leave it right here which is what we want email from name and that's the what it will say in the in the email email header it'll have it'll have your email address but for the name it'll say my Saint Andrew and let's see email template this is the information that's gonna come in in the box when you when it uh, when you get the email this is it'll say submitted on this day submitted by user and if they're logged in it'll have a username but most people are gonna be anonymous so that won't show up and then it'll have all the email values and result of the submission viewed at Earl will be on there so you can click on it and go right to it. Okay, so we don't need to do anything else in this one, so we're going to save. Okay, so it automatically put that right in there. So this is the submission. Next we want to add the um, confirmation matches that the users will get. So I selected component value and you can see by default it uses the email column that we added on the web form that is let me click on the form components scroll down here and you can see right here the name we gave that was email and you can see over here under form key it shows up as email so we'll go back to emails that's what shows up right here in this drop down is the title of the column we added. So we'll click add. Now it goes to the settings page. So we won't mess with that because we want it to go to them. This means this is the address that the email submission will go to. And since this is the subject, the default is form submission. We want to change that. Change that. I usually say, um, uh, well, we can, you can just copy this little piece right here and then say confirmation so now they and when the good thing is when you do this it'll show up in the um, on the uh, list as a confirmation email and when they get it they'll know they got the confirmation from the form they just filled out we'll just leave everything else defaulted for now uh, normally I would edit this um, with a, a few things so let's look at that I think the best thing to do at this point would be to go look at another web form. So let's do that. This is what I would do if I didn't have it in my little um, editor over there. I would I would just cut and paste it from there, but I don't have it in there. So we'll go to uh, first. We're going to save. We'll save it just like this. Sorry. Okay. So now we've got the value of email going, and it shows you in the subject that this is a confirmation. So you've got your two emails. You can add others, you can have it, uh, like here, you can have the submission go to multiple people. Uh, confirmation, obviously, you'd only want that to go to one person, the person that filled out the form. Okay, so let's look at other web forms. I'm gonna click on web forms right here, under content. And I know we did the Foundation Gifts program. And let me edit that, click on the word edit under operations. And if I go to web form, look at emails, 
and then edit the St. Andrew Firm Foundations confirmation one and then I'll scroll down to the bottom and this is a custom message I made for that one which may be a little bit overkill obviously but there's some stuff in here that's pretty valuable uh, like this right here what I'm gonna do is copy that and I'll just paste it in the bottom of this file I have open so I can use it again and let's see we might want to put this there too well I would see change this so all I'm really doing is copying and pasting from something I've done before so I don't have to reinvent the wheel here so we don't need all of that um, here we go this is important and we'll just copy all that obviously you can put more text in the message than I'm going to put so I'm going to save this the bottom of this page too so this right here is what I'm going to edit now I can just edit it real quick right here thanks for let's see thanks for uh, signing up for the benefit concert and it's, we'll just copy so this is exactly what I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go back to the form we were editing before so I'm not even going to I'm gonna go back to content web forms we don't have to save what I'm on there because I didn't change anything and I don't want to change anything. I'm going to go back to the Malaria Benefit Concert and just click on Edit. I'll click on Web Form. I'll click on Emails. And now I'm going to edit the confirmation message. I'm going to go down to the bottom. This particular piece right there, I'm going to replace with that. So it says, thanks for signing up for the benefit concert value. Here is what we received, email values submitted on, thanks, yada yada. Now we'll go ahead and we'll say save. And that is pretty much it. Um, we can test it now by just going to view, filling out the form. So I'll say, well, I'll just Jamie. Grimes, and I'll just put some junk here. And then on this page, put in our phone number. Oops. And we'll say there's three of us. We'll put in, I'll put in this email address. Um, good food. Okay. Now we can just click submit. And that's one thing we didn't do. We didn't, we didn't edit this page. I'll show you how to do that next. But first let's check our email uh, to see what the two email messages look like. Thank you for your submission. Thank you. Your submission has been received is, is a default for this. It takes the title and that. But we can change that, and I'll show you that in just a second. And actually, I can't show you the emails because we're doing this on my test server, which doesn't send emails. Uh, not the one that you guys were working on. This is the one that's on my local machine. Anyway, so let's go back to the form and look at how to change that final message. We go to Web Form, and then up here under Form Settings, this is where you would put um, uh, any other message that you wanted to put uh, on the submission. That's what when they click the form, it would say whatever you type in here is going to show up. And there's several other settings you can make in here, but basically just leave them alone. Just type what you want the message to say right here uh, when they submit the form, and that's that's really all there is to it. 
uh, let's see I think that's it for now so hopefully uh, hopefully this will help bye